Hi, I'm Kristen Arvaez and I work for Invertec Drives. Today I'm going to show you some of the more simple settings of an E3 drive and explain where you might use them. The E3 is a general purpose drive suitable for many applications and is available in IP20 and IP66 versions. The first setting or parameter sets the maximum frequency. To access this parameter, we press and hold the navigate button, which takes us to P1. A short press and we can see and adjust the value if necessary. Remember, if you go higher than nominal motor frequency, you will lose torque capability. I will set it to 45 Hz just to show how. Long press and navigate to return to the normal display. Then run the drive and we can see the maximum frequency has changed. A minimum speed or frequency is more useful and can be set using parameter 2. Pumps and fans are ineffective at low speeds and low speeds may also be avoided for other reasons. The default setting here is 0 Hz. Let's try 5 Hz. Set that. Go to the normal display. Now we can adjust the speed between 5 Hz and 45 Hz. The third parameter here sets the acceleration rate or the ramp up time. This is the time taken to accelerate from zero to the rated motor speak set in parameter 9. The default setting is 5 seconds. For a low inertia load, such as in a small machine, we might want to go faster. For a large inertia like a fan, we'll definitely need a slower acceleration rate. Not much inertia here, so we'll set it to half a second. Notice the deceleration is unchanged. We will set that with parameter 4. Now, if we decelerate too fast, the energy from the load will be returned to the drive and we will need to think about breaking resistors and things. Be careful setting fast deceleration rates or ram down rates with high inertia loads such as fans. Again, we should be alright with half a second ram down here. So now we have some pretty fast response times to start-stop commands and speed changes. Very useful in packing, injection, modeling machines, etc, etc. At the moment the drive is set up so that it decelerates using the ramp down when a stop command is given. However, sometimes it's useful to disable the drive and let the motor coast to a stop. Maybe you have an external brake you want to apply quickly. Or maybe the low is high inertia and you want to coast to a stop in its own time. Setting parameter 5 to 1 will allow this to happen. Now, the motor accelerates as before to the set point, but when a stop command is given, the drive is inhibited and the motor free wheels to a stop. Parameter 5 has some other settings which use a different ramp rate, but we will leave them for now. A nice feature of the E3 and other Invertec drives is the energy saving setting in parameter 6. If this is enabled, then when the drive is running with a low load, the drive reduces the magnetizing current in the motor and saves energy. If we run the drive without energy saving, we can see the current is just over an amp. If we enable the energy saving and run the drive, we can see a significant current reduction saving energy. When the load increases, the magnetizing current is increased to supply the full torque. The next parameters are the motor parameters. I explain how to set this in the video that describes connecting and commissioning the drive. It's important to set these parameters correctly so that the drive protects the motor and gives the best performance and efficiency. Moving on then to parameter 11, this parameter increases the output voltage of the drive at load speeds. 
This can be very useful to overcome losses and non-linearity and increase the available torque. Use this boost setting when starting a difficult load, such as conveyor or mixer. Don't put in too much boost as this increases the losses and may cause overheating in the motor. Without boost, there is practically no torque at low speed. The current is quite low as well. Now put some boost in, say 10%, and you can see the current is higher and the torque is greater. Parameter 12 selects how the drive is controlled. The default setting 0 is terminal control, which we have at the moment. There are several settings we can choose, including Madbus control, Canvas control, and PI control. That is closed loop control. We will cover this parameter in another video. The last parameter in these standard parameters is P13, which selects the operating mode. The default setting of 0 is industrial mode. Setting 1 is pump mode, setting 2 is fan mode. More information about these modes can be found in the user manual. Remember, if you get stuck, you can easily reset all the parameters to the factory settings by pressing up, down and stop buttons together for a second or so. Then reset the drive with the stop button and start again. So that's cleared all the changes I just made. Finally, parameter 14 allows us access to the extended parameters which allow a lot of other adjustments to suit the wide range of applications, but we'll leave that for another time. There is a lot more information on the website. Take a look at invertechdrives.com. Bye for now.